Okay, so this is an interferometric line test to see some severe ray patterns. On the right, I have a uh, horizontal line, lines, 600 lines, and to the left, I have vertical lines. At the moment, the picture is perfectly sharp. Um, yes, and I'll now zoom in and out to see where the critical line densities are compared to this sensor. At the moment, I'm um, okay. I'm zooming out, and I see some severe stuff going on now. And to the right, we have the horizontal lines, and this is where the line skipping effects takes place. You see small amounts. Focusing really controls this a lot. Controls both coloring and okay. Zooming to the left, the, the vertical lines are pretty nice at this point. It paves well with no coloring. Zooming further out, um, yeah, I don't know. If there's something going on here. Maybe it's difficult to see in the viewfinder. But actually, at this point, I see some strong coloring on the horizontal lines. This is, um, yeah, I think at this point. We have a critical line density on the for the vertical lines, and one block is 600 lines. Going further out, uh, I don't see any critical points. It just it's perfectly sharp. Zooming in again, going through this distance, and going to see. yeah. At this distance here. At this point here, for example, uh, this interferometric picture is actually some kind of a magnification of the uh, color filter of the sensor. So it's pretty interesting to see the coloring and the lines at this point. Um, you can see that a small amount of defocus. Um, reduces this a lot. So this is now I've reduced it by 70% uh, maybe. And now at this level I think the picture appears sharp but uh, the moray and <coughs> aliasing issues are greatly reduced. So the question is how to make this defocus very accurately.